Okay, today this is a video about how to use our backpack kit with LS300, the laser scanning system. And when you open our backpack kit, you can first open this. And then it can stand here. And uh, the first is uh, adjust the pole to the top. Okay, it's to the top now. And there, we find the host side. And this is the small triangle. And uh, you can see here, it's an arrow here. Okay, and then our scanning system is a triangle and uh, matched together. Okay, and then this is the main cable. And remember, this side is uh, to the scanning system here. And another side is uh, for host. Check here, it's a red dot to the red dot. Okay, and the next is our battery. Uh, this is the panorama camera here. And remember, uh, if you are using backpack or key uh, car mount, uh, there is a different uh, camera uh, side is this way. Uh, because if you are using handheld, a uh, handhold is this way. But if you're using backpack and the car mount is this way, that's the most different. Uh, let's make sure the camera is installed okay. And then, if you you, you are you want to use the GPS, uh, install the GPS here. Uh, this is our GSS receiver, and you can get the coordinates when you scan and there is a tool uh, named GCM uh, it's used for processing the um, coordinate information and uh, we should install it here and there are two kind of cable on the GCM uh, the longer one uh, there is a longer one and the short one and the longer one is for the GNSS receiver and this, is, this port connect to the serial port look, there is the GNSS and another side connect to the GCM okay and another side Please check the dot inside and the four dot is to connect to the GCM. Okay, and another side connect to the host. Okay, now we finished and press the power on button 3 seconds to power on. You can check the information in the screen here and just wait it connecting and open your phone and we need to use Wi-Fi to connect the device okay here is the device it connected and then we open our software okay this is uh, our software and uh, this is uh, the information I last scanned and you can see the RTK state here and the satellite here if we go outside we can use the RTK and uh, remember to open the camera manually after the device is open Press the open button and you can see the camera is uh, open now. And after camera is uh, connect, uh, there, there uh, you can check the information in the screen here. And also the red dot will become green.
Okay, the camera is uh, connected now. There is a camera position hint. Uh, that means if you are using handheld, it's front and the rear lens. And if you are using backpack and vehicle, it's uh, a left and right. So this is uh, good. Okay, and then I open our receiver. Okay, let's go outside to test the backpack kit. Okay, now we are outside now. And first, you need to get your receiver fixed. Uh, now I connect with the receiver. And in lower, we set the PDA course uh, with another phone. And it's fixed now. And we need to set the NEMA output here uh, to let the SLAM get the GPGGA data. Uh, remember to choose the serial port output and remember to open this continue output when receiver restart and we only need to gpgga data and remember to change the second to 0 0.1 okay remember to change it to 0 0.1 uh, press ok and we set successful and you can check the satellite information and uh, make sure the receiver always get fixed. Sometimes the environment makes the receiver not get fixed. It's also okay because the SLAM can only use the position information uh, with the fixed solution. And now we can check uh, our app. You can see the RTK states here is fixed and the satellite is uh, certified. And that means the RTK is connected and we can just begin to scan. Okay, I press start button here. And uh, remember to wait 5 seconds. It will begin to scan. Okay, now the camera is begin to record the radio. Uh, press no. Uh, no need to download the uh, the video okay you can see the point cloud is uh, generated gradually and then we can just walk and scan the information you need okay you can check here uh, the point cloud is uh, generate and this is uh, the real-time point cloud and it's just a preview of the point cloud uh, after you process the data it will be much more better and uh, there are some tips when you're scanning uh, when you want to turn around remember to turn around slowly don't rotate too fast okay I turn around slowly and we continue scanning yes, ok, now you can check this is a point cloud preview and after we scan uh, we can just press and stop scanning here now it's saving data. And before you end the scan, remember to stand still and don't move too fast. Okay, now this this project is end and we already end the scan. And how to process the data? Uh, just press here, data process. And uh, we can see this is the data we just get, right? And the compute option, open the computer option. And here is the antenna height. Uh, so because N5 and N3 is using the 0 0.06665. Okay, this is the antenna height we need to enter. Uh, and if you're using another receiver, it's another number. 
and the process mode is outdoor. Okay, because we are outdoor now. And remember to change the scan mode to the backpack. If you use the man manual hand, uh, uh, you can use this one. And now we are using backpack. And you can select the GNSS mode here, and uh, we're using WGS84 here. And okay, this is no need to change larger scenery. Okay, we just process. And this process data is uh, not using the video. If you want to use in the video, uh, you need to uh, compress the video first in your computer. And after it's processed, you can get the last file directly. Okay, you can check the speed is really fast. If I just scan 30 minutes, it just needs to process 3 minutes. Okay, we can go to the computer and check the data now. Okay, after the data is processed, uh, we need to insert the U disk to get the data. And we can find the data in the process deed. And uh, look, this is the data we just scanned with GPS parse and WGS84 point cloud. Uh, just press copy. It will copy the data uh, from the host side to the U disk. And after the local changed to local and mobile storage, uh, the copy is success. Uh, and then you can find the data inside the U disk. Okay, now let's open our data. We just scan, and it's with WGS84 coordinate system. And this is the point number. Okay, now the data is opened, and we can check the data, and also we can change the display view and the angle. We can change the display as intensity and change its color. We can check the data is very good and it can show everything on the roof of the building. And then we use our RDK to get some control points and let's test the accuracy. Uh, we didn't ch do any change for the two parts of data, we just import them to the same coordinate system and we can check the two parts of data is matched together very well. Every point is has RTK level accuracy. And we can check no need to worry about the data accuracy. And also the two points matched together very well.